All right, I got some more things to show you. Uh, this time they're encapsulated things that I've placed onto a table, a table that you've probably seen many times if you've watched any of my videos where I show things. And uh, if you can guess what's in here, you probably just read the title uh, of the video. Um, so you already know that they are metal slug capsule toys that can run over my face. Letting it run over your face is optional, though. Um, but anyway, I just got these a couple days ago. They're made by Takara Tomi, and they're just neat little toys. Um, there's five capsules in all. Uh, each one represents a different game. Uh, you've got Metal Slug 1, 2, X, and 3. And uh, actually, the last capsule is not a game. It's actually a miniature Neo Geo console, complete with joystick and memory card. They're all pretty detailed. Uh, as you can see, obviously, the characters and vehicles have no paint or anything like that, so they're just a single color. Uh, but the Neo Geo itself is quite nice and uh, pretty detailed, even down to the bottom of the console and the ports on the back. Um, the joystick is really nice and actually plugs into the console, and even the memory card can go into the console if you want. Uh, but what's more is that uh, each of the first four capsules comes with a replica AES cartridge of the game, complete with a label on it. Um, they also included uh, the warning stickers that go on the cartridges, but I didn't put those on. Uh, but they're there if you want them. But anyway, the cartridges also actually fit into the console, which looks pretty good, actually. The detail is pretty nice on the labels and everything. And just having a miniature Neo Geo is fun, and to compare the size of these things to the originals just shows the difference in scale. Uh, the interesting thing, though, is that uh, while it's neat to see a memory card that small, and you think, oh, wow, look at how small they got it, but then you think, this is basically the exact same size as a micro SD card that we have nowadays that hold gigabytes and gigabytes of data, so it kind of makes the miniaturization thing not, not as impressive anymore, considering we have real things that hold tons of stuff now, so yeah, but it at least still looks good and is really detailed. Hey, thanks for asking. The quality, I guess, is fine. Um, the vehicles do require a bit of assembly, but they, they go together pretty easily. Uh, the fit and finish is decent enough. I mean, most of the stuff went in fine. Um, yeah, they're just little capsule toys. What can you expect? And I don't really have any opinions about them other than you can look at them and see what they are for yourself. They're fine. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say. They don't do anything except sit there and you look at them and they continue to sit there. They don't really know that you're looking at them because they have no consciousness, at least not anything that uh, I can perceive anyway as a consciousness. But, you know, I, I digress. Uh, but the main thing is that they're neat looking little toys and um, as toys, they're meant to be played with. So let's do a little of that. Okay, now having been played with, let's take an overall look at the toys again and conclude by saying that these are Metal Slug capsule toys that exist, as you can see uh, by these pictures that I've shown you. Uh, from my table that I've shown you many times. So stay tuned for more videos about my table and perhaps games and perhaps other tables. You, you really can't say uh, how many tables may or may not appear on my channel in the future. Could just turn into all tables. I, I really don't know. I don't, I don't usually plan things ahead. For all I know, in a couple months, it could all just be butcher block and laminate tops. and I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you later.